Let me begin also by thanking Teach NJ for your continued advocacy for the highest standards of education and safety for children in our non-public schools. This is a shared passion among everyone in this room, including yours truly. And I applaud Teach NJ for working together in coalition with schools, as I mentioned, of all faiths, many of which are represented here tonight, for the benefit of all children. This is the kind of leadership and cooperation that will help unite us in these trying times. And tonight I am proud to also join you with some good news, which as any speaker does, I will make you, make you wait for so that I don't lose my audience right at the beginning of my remarks, so bear with me. Ensuring that every student has the skills they need to pursue their dreams also means ensuring that they have the tools they need for a world-class education. I commend Teach NJ for preventing us in public office from losing sight of that fact. As you know, I am looking to our schools to help launch our state's innovation economy, as the rabbi just mentioned, into new and exciting heights. This means a strong, stronger focus, particularly in the STEM fields. We will not, amen. We will not succeed in this unless all our students have what they need to succeed. So they can attend one of our state's world-class colleges, go on to work at a New Jersey company on the leading edge of new technologies, or perhaps even start their own. I am proud that both the budget I signed last year and the one that I've proposed for the coming year will continue the state's partnership with our non-public school communities to ensure that our students have access to the best technologies, textbooks, and classroom supplies. And I have to say, a little point of personal privilege for the great state of New Jersey, U.S. News and World Report came out yesterday with their rankings of American states. And New Jersey jumped from number 19 in 2017 to number 12 in 2018, which is pretty cool. And we, we finished in the top three, uh, top 10, pardon me, in three areas that are incredibly relevant to kids and frankly for folks of all ages. One, opportunity, top 10 finish. Two, healthcare, top 10 finish. And education, which is the topic tonight, number two in the United States of America. And we ain't gonna rest until we're number one in the United States of America. But beyond ensuring the necessities for the classic three R's and working hard to add new ones like robotics, our administration holds no greater responsibility to our students than to ensure their safety and security, whether it be at school or on their way to and from school from their homes. Earlier this year, as was mentioned, I was especially proud to travel to YBH of Passaic, uh, to sign the law that doubled the amount of security aid for students attending private or religious schools to $150 per student. 